Well, we're back uh, right here on Hela Kuwait, and I hope everyone out there is enjoying their evening. Right now we have with us uh, Mr. Uh, Peter Bowman. Uh, Mr. Peter is the first secretary at the British Embassy. Mr. Peter, nice to have you with us this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Thank you for the invitation, Tarek. It's lovely to be here. It's a pleasure to have you. I know you've also been very busy at the cybersecurity conference. So uh, first off, tell us a little bit about your impressions of the cybersecurity conference being held right here in the state of Kuwait, Mr. Peter. Well, I thought it was a wonderful first day in the cybersecurity conference. We had a very large number of people attending the, the first day at Kuwait College of Science and Technology. Uh, some really fantastic experts in the field from both Kuwait and the United Kingdom. So it's fantastic to see them sharing their knowledge, but it's also really great to see uh, so many young people, so many students coming along to learn. So we had that next generation there, and that was really um, inspiring. Good to hear that. So maybe you could tell our audience a little bit, uh, Mr. Peter, about cybersecurity and the needs to develop manpower in artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. Tell yeah. us a little bit about this. Sure, sure. So um, cybersecurity is really fundamental to our lives um, in 2022. Um, just as uh, computers and mobile phones and all of our electronic gadgets are so uh, fundamental and, and basic in our lives these days. Uh, most of our lives are lived uh, through these devices. We have our personal data, things like sure. uh, our, our money is, is held um, on electronic systems, our health data, everything it is... It seems is like it's a part of our body. We use it all the time. Yeah, now. yeah exactly. We can't do without it. And right. that's why cybersecurity it's essential. Is, is essential. That's, that's exactly it. And as for um, cybersecurity skills, uh, the British government commissioned a survey recently which looked at skills in cybersecurity. Okay. They asked companies what they needed and uh, this is really an issue all around the world as companies try to catch up on the skills that are required to stay safe. And what the what this study found is that around 50% of companies lack the uh, basic skills which are required to, 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 keep, their, to keep their data safe. And that's, mm -hmm. that's really worrying. Um, that means that the companies really have to invest now but fortunately, in the UK, we have something called the National Cyber Security Centre, which um, is so important for working with industry and also working with academia to provide the, the services that may yes, be needed. It's an ever-developing field. I mean, there's always new things going on. It's good to have, I think, conferences yes. like the ones in the state of Kuwait to certainly shed light is. on this more, right? It's, it certainly is. It's really important to, to gather on a regular basis um, as, as experts to share um, the latest information. Essentially, this is a, a, a great initiative for Q8 and the UK. We have a very long relationship as, as nations, more than 120 years. Very good friendship on many uh, fronts. Absolutely. And, and, and that relationship has often manifested in the defense space. Um, in the 21st century, the uh, relationship in cyberspace is, 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 I would argue, very, very important and, and perhaps just as important as, as the defense relationship. Great to hear that. So talk to us a little bit more about the collaboration uh, between government and industry and academia in cybersecurity. You touched on it just a little bit. Maybe elaborate a little bit more on that for our audience, please, Mr. Peter. Sure. All three of those groups are fundamental to cybersecurity. What we see with academia is some really deep research uh, going into the science of cybersecurity. Um, which can then be shared with, with industry who have the, the power to uh, provide services to, to other parts of the economy. It's absolutely essential that the cybersecurity industry grows and the British cybersecurity industry is growing as well as, the, as well as the Q80 ones. It's good to see our companies coming together to work. And then you have the government as well, which is uh, always looking at ways to protect the citizens. That's the first duty of the government in, in the UK and in Q8. And both of our governments are working together to make sure that our people are safe. Good to hear that. And Mr. Peter, we, again, appreciate your time with us also. I know it's been a very busy few days. Uh, thank you for coming uh, this evening. Do you have any last words for the audience watching Hela Kuwait tonight? Thank you, Tarek. All I would say to the audience at this point is that I'd really like to see you um, at the conference tomorrow. It's a fantastic opportunity to learn more about cybersecurity, whether you're a top expert or a, 
uh, an absolute beginner. It's a good place to uh, come and learn some new things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Tarek. Thank you. We'd like to thank uh, our guest, uh, Mr. Peter Bowman, uh, First Secretary at the British Embassy, for his time with us uh, this evening right here on Hela Kuwait. Right now, we're going to move on to another one of our great reports, so stay tuned.